If you are one of those Galaxy S23 Ultra owners that used to flaunt around that you would be able to take a picture of the moon and it would look pristine, you might want to stop doing that after watching this video. So let's get to it. <laughs> So basically, last week, uh, the internet went crazy when this photographer, that apparently he took a picture with his real camera and a telescope, took a picture of the moon, took it to Photoshop, added a blur effect so it wouldn't look right, and then proceeded to take a picture of that blurred moon photo with his Galaxy S23 Ultra. And the result was a pristine looking moonshot. What does that mean? Basically, it means that the Galaxy S23 Ultra, when you take a picture of the moon, it'll superimpose an actual pristine looking image of the moon instead of what you're really taking the picture of. The guy went as far as to add a smiley face uh, that looked like craters, and the post-processing of the phone try to fix that and make it look like actual uh, nice pristine looking craters instead of blurred. So it, it was pretty bad. I don't know if it was something that is extremely bad. I do know that all phones do post-processing on their pictures, but not to this extent. I mean, this is, this is something else. I know that, you know, when you take a picture of a person, you want to fix maybe the shadows and things like that. But if you're taking a picture of the moon and you're literally taking a picture of a blurry picture of the moon and you make it look nice and perfect, you're just adding uh, another image on top of the picture that the person is taking. So it's not really a picture that the person is taking. Uh, you're just superimposing the moon on the picture that they took. So I, I, that's not real for me. Um, I didn't mind it that much. I was actually kind of considering getting an S23 Ultra to see what all the fuss is about. But after this, uh, that was one of the things that, you know, Samsung promoted and kept promoting and keeps promoting uh, to this day, at least to the day that I'm making the video. They keep promoting that they take the best moon shots that you could take with a phone, uh, better than the iPhone, better than the Pixel, better than anybody else, basically. Uh, but it turns out that it's not true. Uh, it actually just superimposes an image of the moon, a pristine image of the moon, uh, if it detects something that looks kind of like the moon. It just does that. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, does this change your mind regarding uh, all the post-processing that goes on in pictures or just in this particular instance? Is it bad, that bad, not that bad? Leave it in the comments down below. While you're down there, smash that like button, subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when we have new videos. Uh, I've been trying on the weekends at least uh, to play uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I have almost been completely relegated to playing it on the weekends, so uh, I've been trying to do lives, and you can just jump in, say hello, or we can talk about the game, about how how it looks, how it feels, how the controllers are, etc. You can ask me any question. I will try to answer it, obviously, as long as I see <laughs> the actual questions. Sometimes I just miss them. Uh, but you can go ahead and jump in and say hello. Also, as always, we're available on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and obviously YouTube at J.R. Abrams Tech, so you can stay up to date with the latest news and rumors about tech. Until next time.